episode brought to you by Choice Ammunition, Uncompromised Precision. Alaska, the last frontier. The Great Land. 663,000 square miles of some of the most rugged terrain on Earth. The sheer cliffs and steep meadows of these isolated bluffs have created the perfect habitat for the majestic mountain goat. Unfortunately, anytime you adventure in Alaska, the weather can be bad. So you've got no alternative but to make the best of it. Killing time in Cordova, it gives you a chance to visit the quaint coastal fishing community, see what's happening while you wait for the clouds to lift. A break in the clouds and blue skies meant it was time to catch a charter flight south to Sam Thieges Hunting Lodge on the Sayu River. Hidden within the timbered forest, we arrived at the remote lodge, which is going to be our base camp for the next couple of weeks. Now the trick is to get all the big stuff compressed into one pack. On a mountain goat hunt, you got to go lean and light. Got to take my gun belt, so I got some ammo. Got to have some binos, sleeping bag, pad. I'm whittling it down to just the essentials. I already got my rain gear in there. I took an extra shirt just in case. One doesn't want to get too stinky. I think we're good. You always want to make sure before you get out and go hunting that everything is working right. There's no reason to get out there in the bush and then find out that, hey, my gun's off. So. Always better to do it here in camp. That way when you get there, you're feeling good. There we go. We got our gear and supplies loaded up into the Super Cub. Now it was time to head out to the mountains. We left to cache the supplies at the makeshift landing strip before heading in the direction of where we'd seen some goats hanging out. Our plan is to hike down this valley, back up to the edge of that snow. There's some goats way off in the distance up there on top of that ridge line. Get up on that ridge line, we can walk and hopefully glass these goats from the top rather than trying to find them from the bottom. What a great place. It's gonna be a tough go, it's steep, but that's where goats live, so that's where we gotta go. Just right there. <laughs> yep. I mean, from the plane, it didn't look like that far at all, huh? Yeah. yeah. We're almost there. 
Oh, yeah. Once words. we hit the creek bottoms, then it's easy peasy. He's just trying not to get wet. What better way to quench your thirst than from a pure mountain stream? After all the hiking and climbing, you talk about refreshing. So right here in the creek that we just found. And here's the other piece of it right over here, where it broke off. Looks like some kind of old scallop shell or something. This is all underwater at one time. Incredible. After crossing the falls, we began setting up camp for the evening, but to our surprise, we were encroaching on a black bear's domain. It was getting late, and the bear was far enough away and busy gorging on blueberries, so we decided to take a chance and set up camp just where we were. Incredible. Right here in camp, we've got more blueberries than we could ever eat. Now I know why these black bears are hanging out in here. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at this. Just a couple seconds and you got a whole handful of just, these are, these are delicious. Sweet, lots of vitamin C. Kind of helps to take the ache out of the long hike to get here. My knees and my lower back right now are reminding me that I haven't been doing this much lately. With a belly full of berries, the work began. If we could get to the top of the mountain, we'd be able to glass the cliffs and hopefully locate one of those big billy goats that this area is really known for. It's amazing how many goats are in this area. We've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That we can see right from here. Most of them are nannies. But we think that this one up here is a billy. He's laying down, but just the look of his head and stuff. It's a lot of work to get up here, but once you get here, the reward is really something. I mean, it's unbelievable how much cool stuff you see. As we scaled back up the mountainside, we stumbled upon a young goat we hadn't even seen from camp. It's his lucky day though, he's not quite big enough, but if I was him, I might want to not stand around like that in the future.
We continued to work our way up to the crest of the ridge to get a better view of what these cliffs and canyons had to offer. It's been a long, long hike. But now they're up on the top of this ridge, we can see both sides. So we'll see what's over here. It's a little more timbered over here. And in this hot sun, maybe they've decided to get in there. There's not as many as we saw last night. I think it's because of the heat. What a beautiful place. Look at that gorgeous lake down there. Little glacier lake. Unbelievable, only in Alaska. We finally found a good billy. Jeremiah spotted one on this other hillside, but we've got to go down through this glacial river and back up this steep side over here, which should be exciting. If we can get up on the top, we've got the wind coming this way. So the conditions are right. We just got to get within shooting distance. Sad or nothing. See if I can get that. I'll try and get it to this rise. I'm gonna cover up the old silver mane. Bugger might think I'm a nanny coming towards him or something. Silver, not gray. This could take a while. It's late in the day, but he's probably not gonna get up for another couple hours. He's laying right on a snowbank. We've been through this routine before. You just wait and wait and wait, but we'll see. laid there and we waited and we waited and waited and waited. Jeremiah had finally had enough since we were run out of time. He pulled one of his old Alaska guide tricks out of his bag. We're gonna need to get him to stand up if we want to get out of here tonight. I'm gonna throw out a wolf call. <laughs> Might as well try it. We're gonna be here all night. I think he's settled in for the evening, this brother. I got his attention. I think we need a little more people in the chorus. What do you think, Jeremiah? I agree. Let's all do it. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. He's getting up. You see him? I see him. Yep. Excellent shot, Alan. Excellent shot. Well, I don't like it when they just drop like that, though. I was trying I don't to hit see him. him getting up. Yeah, I was trying to hit him high in the spine, you know, like in that shoulder, so it looked like it worked. So now we got to go all the way that way, cross that hillside, down that next cut, up and over that. I'm guessing it's, drop down on him. I'm thinking like an hour and a half to go 250 yards. So, right about that. <laughs> Oh Lord, I wish I could fly right now. Man, that is a big goat. <laughs> How about that, huh? Heck yeah. Thanks, Alex. Awesome. Man, check this thing out, huh? Wow. How about this? Look at that goat, huh? You come all the way to Alaska to get a trophy like this, working your butt off. One of the toughest hunts I've ever been on. Man, 
great horns on him. Really good hide. Look at this for as hot as it is here in August and he's still got great fur and good eating. You know the goats are, a lot of people don't realize that these goats are really good eating. Another rugged expedition, but the work's just started. We gotta get him skinned out. So we'll get that down to the bottom of the hill where the plane's gonna pick us up one of these days. Being in the mountains of Alaska is unlike anything else in the world. After working so hard to reach the heights these animals live in, it's a rewarding feeling to be able to enjoy the merits of your labor. This is an adventure everyone with a passion for pursuing the monarchs of the mountains should experience at least once in their lifetime.